Jack here. In this one, I'm looking at this high accuracy clamp leaker. In full disclosure, it was sent to me for free for an honest review. In just a moment, we're going to open it up, show you what you get in the package, walk you through some usage scenarios or a test using this clamp leaker, and talk about why I think it's a solid product. Let's check it out. Here's a quick shot of the simple brown box. We'll pop it open. Once again, this is a clamp style current leak tester. Nice little carry pouch. I dig that little detail there. We'll set that down. On the inside, you've got an instruction manual. This is going to be helpful when it comes to getting acquainted with the device. You also get a USB type A to micro USB connection cable to connect the device to your computer. Going to unzip the carry pouch. Here's the device itself. It's got a good weight to it. It feels nice and durable. The pressure here is good and the clamp opens and closes easily with good tension. Two button function, so pretty simple, nice LCD style display. And then on the bottom, there's your micro USB for connecting to the computer. So for those of you who don't know exactly what this is for, it's for measuring the current leaking out of cabling or wiring. And you simply do that by taking the wire, reaching around with the clamp, and then going ahead and measuring the value that's being read from the inside of the clamp based on what's leaking from those wires. Now this is the 140 amp model, and it does run on batteries, which were included. Go ahead and press the power button. And then you'll see it's all zeroed out right there. It's set for AC power. So one thing that's really nice is you can store up to 60 measurements in the device memory itself using that hold key. If I press it quickly, you can see that it's stored it this reading, which is zero in zero seven. So number seven, if I go ahead and hit it again, it's going to go back to non hold mode. If you want to access those different memories, click quickly press both power and hold buttons simultaneously. And you can see number one is displayed there. If I press it again, number two, Number three, number four, most of these are zeros. If I hold it down, it's going to go ahead and select delete. It just deleted all of those memories. So we'll go ahead and press that again. You'll see there's none there. So just keep that in mind. You can't delete an individual memory. If you do try to delete memories, it will delete all of them. Hit the power button. It's going to go back to normal mode. And then if I hit hold one more time, you can see it's going to hold it in number one and so on. But all things considered, if you're in the market for a convenient, easy clamp style, high accuracy current leakage meter, I think this is a really solid option. Hopefully the video helps your purchase decision. Thank you so much for watching.